The following program was paid for by Latino Cleveland. This program was made possible by Global Cleveland, supporting the growth of Northeast Ohio's Hispanic community. Este programa es hecho gracias a Global Cleveland, respaldando el crecimiento de la comunidad hispana en el noreste de Ohio. Welcome to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland and Happy New Year. Everyone, I'm Myra Rosario and here with us, my guest host, Danny. Hi. How are you? We have a jam-packed show for you today. That's right, Myra. We're gonna hear about Fiesta de Reyes and visit an iconic neighborhood bakery that's undergoing some big changes this year. But first, we have Luis Rivera from the American Red Cross with us to talk about fire safety. How are you? Doing good, thank Hi. you for having us. Now what's your title with the American Red Cross? I'm a disaster specialist with the American Red Cross, so my job is uh, focused in the disaster side of the mission. Okay, okay great. And what is it that um, you guys actually do in the community? Well, on a day to day, we're actually uh, accomplishing the Red Cross mission, which is to help alleviate uh, human suffering in the face of emergency. So, uh, we're constantly on call 24-7, 365, responding to emergencies. Wow. Now, you've done a collaboration with the fire department just recently, right? Yeah, we partner with uh, government partners, uh, other organizations throughout the community, uh, specifically with the fire department. You know, uh, besides responding to the fires that happen on a on a day-to-day -day basis, the Red right. Cross going out uh, helping uh, victims of disaster, uh, we also uh, have a program called Project Save a Life where we go out and uh, help uh, the community and with uh, the installing smoke alarms uh, in the homes uh, to help uh, prevent you know, fires and, and, and keep people safe. Now, I have a family at home. What can the viewers out there do to prepare their families for an emergency? Well, especially right now, January, February time coming is the busiest cold times for us here in Northeast Ohio. Um, definitely practicing fire safety at home, practicing a, uh, an evacuation plan at home with your kids. Um, testing your smoke alarms at home to make sure that they're That's functioning important. properly. Right. Um, uh, taking precautions with space heaters, making sure you don't leave items on top of them. Uh, unplugging your Christmas tree lights and things yes. at home. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of things, because those are hazards uh, that can cause potential fires at home. Now, if people want to learn more or get involved, how could they get in contact with you sure. and get those details, actually? Right. They can visit our website at redcross.org or they can call their local Red Cross office and speak to someone in emergency services and we can provide information. Okay, great. Now, now, what other types of things have you done in the past related to disaster, fires, or anything like that? Well, part of uh, what we do in disaster too is community preparedness. So we'll go out into the communities and participate in community events to provide uh, preparedness education materials and just educate people on having a plan, creating a preparedness kit at home getting trained and also getting involved with their local Red Cross. Great. Great. That's important. Great. I know that you want to focus more on getting the community involved with the, with the Red Cross. Yes, exactly. I mean, we're an, we're an organization of the community for the community. Right. So the more people that we have involved, the more we can do to serve those in need. And I know that the Hispanic community is a really important market for you guys. Oh, to yes, definitely. Okay, definitely great. it is. Now, if you can share the website again for our sure. viewers. It's uh, redcross.org. Okay, great, thank you. When we return, I am going to take you to Caribe Bakery on Fulton, which is one of my most memorable places growing up. We'll hear all about the big changes planned over there. So stay tuned, we'll be back for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland right after this. Welcome back to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. You know, we all have that special place in our community that takes us back to our childhood. For Myra and I, that's Caribe Bakery where our families have been customers for so many years. Now there's some exciting changes happening to the bakery this year and Myra was there to help out. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Myra Rosario with Latino Cleveland. Now if you're a Cleveland Rican or any Cleveland Latino, you know this place. Now this is Caribe Bakery on the west side of Cleveland. And I'm here with Sandra Bulos. How are you? Fine, you're doing well? Now, Sandra, we are here at Caribe. Now, can you tell us how long we've been here and just the history of this bakery? Okay, this bakery been for like 42 years. I've been here for like 14 years. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing good business here in the community. Uh, we support a lot of Hispanics 
okay. especially with the Puerto Rican um, bakery and food. Uh, all the Puerto Ricans come to it, right. and everybody come to it. Right. No matter if Puerto Rican or not Puerto Rican. Right. Yeah, I mean, 42 years. I mean, this is probably the oldest Hispanic bakery, and I know you have some new things coming up, so do you want to share that with the audience? Yes, uh, we have a, because our business grow a lot, and we're doing a new bakery, a new building, a new parking lot. We're going to have about 40 parking to 50 parking lots, and uh, we're going to split it into areas, sit down restaurant and bakery to go, and. The same thing we have now to go and sit down. We're going to have waitress. We're going to have a lot of, wow, that, a lot that's of exciting. new things. That's exciting. Now I got a chance to check out the beautiful building. So what type of foods will you have there? Um, vamos a tener la mismo. Yeah. Um, vamos a tener siempre las alcapurrias, el pernil asado, el arroz con gandules, the Cuban sandwich, their number one in Cleveland. Oh, yes. Eh, Vamos a tener una variedad buenísima. Vamos a servir platos como churrasco con tostones, mofongo, wow. camarones al ajillo. Mira, tengo hambre <laughs> hablando de esto. Sí, sí, va a estar bien, bien, bien bueno, un menú bien, bien amplio y esperamos la siempre la colaboración de todos los hispanos. Okay. Well, gracias por tenerme aquí. And good luck to you. If you want, this is your last chance to come to Caribe Bakery before the spring of 2015. Now, Caribe Bakery is still open and will remain at the same location. They will be transitioning to a new building this spring and tearing down the old one. So for you viewers at home, if you want to see the old bakery before it's gone, now is your chance. Go check them out. When we return, we will be hearing about Fiesta de Reyes, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Now we are excited to have with us today Lucy Torres from the city of Cleveland to talk to us about the tradition of Fiesta de Reyes and an upcoming event. Yes, um, again, thank you for inviting me. And uh, Fiesta de Reyes is an old tradition. Mm -hmm. And the city of Cleveland, this is the eighth year that we do this event. Mm -hmm. It is sponsored by the city of Cleveland again and the Community Relations Board. Uh, it will be held uh, January the 9th, uh, 2015, from 5.30 p.m. to 9 o'clock at the 3115 <laughs> Scranton Road, the Hispanic Youth Center. Okay. Uh, we will have that uh, event there, and everybody's invited to come and participate. Okay. Now, uh, can you share with our viewers what is Fiesta de Reyes and the importance in the tradition? Fiesta de Reyes is a, is a, a Latino tradition that we would like to keep here, to let the uh, children in Cleveland uh, and the uh, areas of Cleveland to know about this event, this tradition. We don't want to lose what it is in our culture. Now, to, a yeah. memory? Yeah. Let's ask her about a memory. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I remember, I remember uh, when I was a child uh, in Puerto Rico in a, in a small town in the middle of the island named Comerio. I am from Comerio, very proud to be. And uh, I remember around five o'clock going behind my, my home looking for grass to put in a shoebox, uh -huh. to put right. it underneath the bed. And then that night, we were going to bed early, very early, <laughs> so we could get up early and look for the toys and the gift that we were going to find underneath the bed. That's great. Yeah, That's awesome. It's good to keep that tradition alive. Yes. Definitely. And uh, I wanted to add that um, um, I am uh, the Hispanic liaison to the mayor of the city of Cleveland, um, Frankie Jackson. I work on the, the Department of Community Relations. Okay. Um, and I, um, I do a lot of things for the community. I make sure that they, uh, my community is aware and is informed of all the services and programs that the, that the administration has for the uh, Hispanics in, in this area. Now, if you want to share one more time about your event and how people can get a hold of you. Yes, uh, Fiesta de Reyes, January the 9th, 2015, from 5.30 to 9 o'clock. Telephone number 
to call and register. Everybody must register. Okay, uh, 216. Six six four six two four eight. Okay, great. Well, thank you is. again for having um, coming and thank sharing you. with us thank about you. the SSA. Felicidades. Thank you. Thank you. Now, for more information about what you've seen here today, check us out online at latinocleveland.com. Next week, we will meet with the Young Latino Network, visit a local breakdancing school, wow. and we will have a Brazilian chef in-house. You don't want to miss it. So make sure to tune in each and every Saturday right here on Channel 3 at 11 a.m. for Yo Soy Latino, Latino Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs>